Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sadowski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. This video is very exciting because I was sent a microphone by a certain microphone company. I bet you'll never be able to guess who it is. Hmm? Can you? Can anyone guess? A lot of you know my usual studio mic is the Deity V Mic D3 Pro. And because it's in the shot, you might be thinking, hmm, that $200 microphone sounds absolutely awesome. But the audio that you're listening to is being captured by their newest microphone, the V Mic D4 Mini, and it is boomed just right above my head. And the audio that you are hearing right now is completely raw. I'm not going to edit it in any way. I'm not even going to boost it in post. Let me be quiet right off the bat for a self noise test. Now there is a television going in my house and some AC units running from my neighbor so you might be able to hear the units outside but hopefully this microphone may have cut out that noise because it's a super cardioid pickup meaning that it's just going to capture the audio directly in front of it and help to cut out those ambient noises around it. The microphone is available right now they just launched it and you can get it on Amazon for $49.99 or of course you can always go to Didi's website and get it directly from them. I'm going to leave both of those links down in the description and just to let you know the Amazon link is an affiliate link that does help to support the channel so if you do use that I thank you very much so let's talk about everything that you get in your package when you purchase the d4 mini course you do get the microphone and it's an all metal body build you get the suspension shock mount you're going to get two sets of cables one that goes directly into a DSLR and the other cable is to accommodate if you're using it for phones or if you want to put it into a tablet and as you can see the setup of this microphone is a vlogging style type of microphone they do supply you with a mini dead cat look how tiny this dead cat is it's I think this is the smallest dead cat that I've ever seen yet it works incredibly well. So bravo to them for coming up with something that works really great but is not going to be so cumbersome sitting on top of your camera. It's like they took every single suggestion that anybody could possibly want in a vlogger's microphone and executed it into the D4 Mini. A big thing for me that I really like because it's environmentally sustainable is that you don't need batteries to get this to work. It's going to be powered by whatever device that you have it plugged into. Not only the fact that batteries are really bad for the environment, but they're just completely inconvenient, you know? And then you have to be worried, okay, do I have a battery for a backup? It's just really nice to not have to worry about, hmm, where am I with my battery life? One of the main things that really sets this microphone apart is the fact that it has a separate 3.5 audio input jack. So let's say you wanted to pipe in a second line of audio. You can absolutely plug in a lavalier microphone to this microphone. It's kind of like having two mics in one. In case you were curious as to what that audio would sound like, the audio that you're listening to right now is being captured by a lavalier microphone running directly into the DD D4 Mini. So I think a big thing why people are going to really want and purchase this microphone is because of that separate 3.5 jack. However, interestingly, that's not even my most favorite thing about this microphone. The entire build and makeup of it are completely different than other vlogging microphones. Now you want a small teeny tiny package on your camera whenever you're vlogging. The cable that goes out of the microphone into your camera is actually on the side of the microphone. So if you wanted to utilize the eyepiece of your camera, that cable is not going to be in the way. Another thing that I really love about this microphone is the design of the grill. Sometimes you'll see people using a vlog style microphone in their studio as a studio boom mic. And then you'll see that they still have the dead cat on their microphone, even though there's no wind in your studio. And the reason that they have to do that is to protect their audio from plosives. But with the way this is designed and set up, you don't need the dead cat because that grill acts like its own little pop filter. Okay, so let me demonstrate. I'm gonna get that traditional six inches away from the microphone. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peanuts. How impressive. 
is that. Another thing that I really like, and I, I really appreciate that they did this, the cable that goes from the microphone into the camera, both ends, both plugs have that 90 degree angle. It's going to keep the form factor very small. It's not going to jut out and obstruct your LCD screen. And the suspension shock mount has some divots for cable management as well. But I've noticed with the coiled cable, I didn't really even need to use that because the cable itself, it's a nice compact package. I I really think this is the ultimate vlogger's microphone, but let's go ahead and put it to the test. And we're trying out the new DD little vlogging microphone. So far, so good. I like that it's like a nice compact size and let's see how well it's doing in the wind. It's pretty windy out and plus it's bumpy. Ugh. Man, it's just too bumpy here. Okay, that was a bad one. Uh, don't think I can vlog on this rough terrain with this. I broke this clean off, the camera went flying. I'm lucky I didn't get impaled on this thing. So I'm just walking around with the camera on top of my tripod. That's how I roll. I mean, you can see all these crazy tire tracks that are left in this beautiful field. None of this was here last year. So I was able to learn the one wheel without any problem. It was nice and smooth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just ride the one wheel so you can see how bumpy it is. Oh, I hope I got that. I was definitely thinking something had to break on that second fall, but both the camera and the microphone came through it fine. My body on the other hand, different story, I'm still sore. Now let's take a listen as to how this is going to sound if you're using it in a device, whether that be for live streaming or online meetings. Good news, if you wanna use the Deity VMic Mini for Zoom or any online meetings, this is the audio that you can expect to hear and let me be quiet so we can do a self noise test. Now to run this into my iPad, I'm using the supplied cable from DD, but I have to use a 3.5 to USB-C dongle. When I first started doing videos, it was a huge crime to leave your microphone in the frame with you. You had to boom it above you or put it somewhere where no one could see that. This is the audio that you can expect to hear when the D4 Mini is just boomed right above your head. And I would say it's about 18 inches away from my mouth. Okay, so now it's the end of the video and listen, I know I've been gushing about this microphone through the whole entire video, so it's no surprise to you that of course I give it a huge thumbs up and I'm going to give it a five out of five star rating, which is amazing. What more could you want from a vlogging microphone? Nothing. You want something small, compact, light, sounds good, works easy, doesn't need batteries, and is awesome looking. And it really, it, it's just all of that. So I have no problem absolutely recommending the Deity VMic D4 Mini. Well, that's gonna do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me and thanks to the people at Deity for sending me this microphone. What an honor. And until next time, wear your sunblock and just be a nice person, please.